Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Yuyan. So today's video is a super exciting one. It is a highly requested video and I am so happy to be finally sharing this with you and it is on how I edit my Instagram photos. So this is kind of my Instagram feed and I like to just keep it very clean. I post a lot of outfits. I post some lifestyle content. So if you guys like my outfits, be sure to follow me on Instagram. I try to post like every single day. So I'm going to be talking about how I kind of curate my feed, the apps that I use, the colors and all that. So if you want to see how I edit my photos, then let's just get right into it. So I took out some of my unedited photos and I'm going to show you guys how I edit it. So first I am going to edit this photo and the first app that I always use is ViscoCam. I absolutely love Visco cam it is my favorite app for like filters and all that i really love all the colors and all the options so all you have to do is just import it i actually bought the like whole package just because instagram is part of my job and i do use it on the daily i believe the a series is free so you have a6 which is kind of like a very vibey moody aesthetic but my favorite that i've been re using recently and is kind of like in all my photos is c7 i just really like how it makes the colors very vibrant and i usually take it about like a five or like a six and honestly every single photo that i edit i do it a little bit differently so for this i'm gonna use 6.5 i usually bring down the exposure a little bit i also bring down the contrast okay and if it is an iphone photo i usually like to sharpen it just a little bit um maybe like less than a one and then what I will do is change the white balance and I really like to make the temperature warmer see this is the before and then the after the last step I like to do is use grain so if you look at my Instagram photos all of them has at least a little bit of grain I just think it makes the photo look a little bit more aesthetic and um, just kind of have like, like a certain mood to it for this I will do like a 2.2 and yeah this is the before and the after and i am pretty much happy with that so what i would do is press next and then save it to my camera roll and i really like how this photo turned out this is how i generally just edit my photos like a quick edit if i don't want to put anything else on it recently i have also been really liking to use like these dusty filters and then i also have really been liking to use like the dates at the bottom so i'm gonna show you guys how i do that i'm gonna be starting off with this photo over here and i am going to take it to facetune first i'm sure you guys have heard of facetune and i think a lot of people use it too much but i will admit i do use it as well just to kind of fix minor things i honestly think it is a great app but you just can't get too carried away with it and what i really like doing is using the details option i like to kind of detail my earrings necklaces outfit details and then sometimes even like my hair a little bit to bring out the highlights another thing i like doing um that i don't need so much on this photo but for other photos maybe if i have like a blemish or something i will smooth that out a little bit so for this photo it's not really anything too bad so i'm just gonna smooth out like this little crevice over here and that's kind of like the before and after i just wouldn't recommend going in and just kind of completely like just smoothing out your whole face where like it just looks unnatural and then i just save it to my camera roll and next what i'm going to do is go into visco again and i'm going to pull up the photo and i'm gonna do the same thing that i just did with the other photo one thing that's really great about visco cam is that you can actually save the filter and, and the little edits that you do um i'll show you guys how to do that again c7 so for this photo it is a lot darker i'm gonna edit it a little bit different but still use the same technique so i'm gonna bring this maybe to like a five here I'm going to bring down the contrast for sure increase the exposure a little bit and i feel like this photo needs a lot of warmth it is very cool tone and i like all my photos to be a more warm tone so i'm gonna go into the temperature and bring that to around a 1.1 this is like a very moody photo in my opinion so i'm gonna bring the grain a little higher maybe like a almost a three so this is the before and then the after if you go to the third option over here you can actually save the effects that you have done so you just do add and the effect is saved right over 
over here can use it in the future for other photos last thing i forgot to do before is just adjust the four to five ratio i'm gonna bring that down um and i'm actually going to crop it a little bit okay let's go with that save this for the dusty filters and the date what i use is cooney cam and i love cooney cam it is super easy to use go into my new photo and then edit so first i'm actually going to brighten this a little bit i feel like it's still a little bit dark now i'm going to go into dust on the bottom there are a few dust options if you want to purchase the premium there's even more but i haven't purchased the premium for this um, i think the dust is a really cute feature just kind of makes the photo look a little bit vintagey i also add the date on this app and there is a few day options which i think is really cool you have this one this different colors i really like this one you can adjust the date if you want april 2nd you can change that you can also change the sizing let's say i want to make it a little bit smaller and that's what it looks like i love this app it is so easy to use and i love it for like photos like these especially ones that i take indoors now um, i really like that moodiness of the photo okay so next i'm going to show you guys how i do that little like collage kind of look but i do this with a lot of my photos um here's an example of one i just think it looks really cute if you have like a really simple outfit or like a simple background and you kind of want to make it a little bit different so i have these four photos which is what i use these are unfiltered i'm going to quickly show you guys again how i edit it in visco cam i'm just going to show you for one of the photos so for this photo same thing again i'm going to use c7 turn that down exposure i'm going to turn this up a little bit um contrast turn that down a little bit bring the warmth up a little bit i'm also going to put up the grain on this this is the before the after four five and then save to camera roll what i use to get that square thing is this app called story Log. there are so many different options my favorite is the film option and i like going to the first one so the one i use the most is this one f7 and this is what it looks like this is super easy all you have to do is tap the photo that you want to import and there you go you can also adjust it i'm gonna put the other edited ones too with this smiling one and then the last one um so yeah this is pretty much what it looks like i usually just like you know adjusting a little bit and then afterwards i'm going to save it and then there it is in your camera roll super cute another thing i want to show you guys is the different templates you can play with so if you go on the bottom there are different options i also really love using this one it's kind of the same frame kind of look but it's a little bit diagonal on my instagram photo that i posted i had also done the cooney app which i had shown you guys already to get the little dusty effects another app that i really love for dust effects is afterlight so i'm going to show you another way i do the so after light you can also adjust the brightness the lighting but what i mainly use this app is for the dust i really like this one as well i think it's like a great alternative so i'm just gonna go with 11 let's say i'm gonna turn that down a little bit and here we go here is the dust save that and then you can just pull it up on your photos all right so one last thing i want to show you guys is how i edit my outfit photos because that is a little bit different you are taking it outside you're taking it in like natural lighting and sometimes the lighting can be off it can be too harsh so i am going to show you this photo that i took and it is an outfit photo um i really like how it looks but the colors are a little bit dull it looks like it's lacking a little something i'm just going to import it to a visco cam and again use the filter c7 obviously i'm very into this filter c7 recently too vibrant for me so i'm gonna bring this down a little bit and then i'm going to bring down the exposure a little bit um the sunlight is hitting right at me but it's a little bit too harsh almost i'm gonna bring the exposure down a little bit and then i'm actually going to bring the contrast down a little bit too i am going to do the four five again and i'm actually just going to adjust it a little bit i feel like it's a little crooked next i'm going to do the warmth i love my photos very warm that's just kind of how my whole instagram is so i'm gonna bring the temperature up 
think this is a good amount and the last step is to do the grain for outfit photos i don't make it too grainy so that you can just kind of see the details of the outfit so yeah this is usually how my outfit photos turn out um how i edit it if it's in good lighting now i'm going to show you how i edit it if it is in really bad lighting so this picture for example i absolutely love how it turned out but you see it is very very cool tone very blue it was a really gloomy day there was no sun at all but i really like this photo and i want to use it so what i'm gonna do first is i am going to import it i always start out with visco first that's just kind of where it all begins and where i can kind of see what i want to do with it i'm gonna take c7 but i'm gonna bring this down um, i'm also going to pick up the exposure I'm also going to bring down the contrast and then I'm going to try to really warm this picture up okay so that is what it looks like warm it looks better um, I am going to do this going to crop it a little bit and one thing that I will say that I do sometimes I adjust the skew of the y-axis um, so as you can see if you change it towards the left it makes your legs look a lot longer i try not to overdo this because then sometimes your feet can look really big so i just do it a little bit especially if whoever took it from me didn't go at a very low angle and it was just kind of like eye level i do talk more about like how to shoot your pictures in that video on how i take my outfit photos so if you want to know more about the angle to take the photos you guys should watch that one last thing i'm going to do on this app is bring up the grain and I am going to save it to my camera roll so now for my camera roll what I do with photos like this the lighting is just off and I really need to adjust it is I bring it to Lightroom I love this app Lightroom I use it a lot when I want to adjust certain colors you can actually also do it on your computer but Lightroom mobile is a lot easier to use and it's free so a lot of the times I will use the light option over here maybe change up things here and there i'm going to actually bring up the shadows so with the shadows you can really see the details of the clothes and then i'm also going to bring down the highlights bring up the blacks a little bit next i'm going to do some color correction and what i do here is i go to the mix obviously there's a lot of blues and like greens in this photo that i don't want there i'm gonna go to the blue and i'm gonna bring down the saturation of that do you see what a difference that makes it's the before and the after it immediately just brightens up the photo it makes the blueness go away so now what i really want to do is bring some color back to my face it kind of feels a little bit faded out so i'm going to go into the orange option bring the saturation up a little bit on that and it just brings a little bit of color to my face and this just looks so much better than the original photo that it was the colors were just so blue so dull so i'm just gonna export it to my camera i love lightroom for adjusting the color i think it is amazing and super easy to use for that some of you guys asked me how i edited this photo this is how it turned out um, when i posted it with this it's like such good lighting that all i really need is just use one of my filters that I already have added to my visco. I don't feel like I need to do too much else to it. Maybe I'll just bring down the exposure a little. Um, and then I'm just going to adjust it for five again. So I'm actually going to bring it to after light. And again, dusty. I think I like this one. So I'm going to bring this down and then just save it. And that is pretty much all I do to this photo. I think it was really great lighting, so I didn't have to do too much. Okay, the last thing I want to show you guys is how I kind of curate my feed, make sure that everything looks good, kind of like the order that I want to post my photos and just make sure that the feed like overall flows well. So what I use for that is this app called Preview. And with Preview, it takes your current feed photos, which is starting from this one over here and um, these posts over here are the ones that maybe I'll be putting up in the next couple of days and what I can do is I kind of just play around with the order of it see what looks the best let's say I want to post the photos that I had just edited I'm going to import it and it goes straight to my feed um, and from here I can just really play around with where I want the photo um see what order i like them and then you can figure out the order that you want to post your pictures 
All right, guys, I think that is everything that I have to share with you about my Instagram, how I edit my Instagram photos, and just like the little tricks and tips that I have. I'm gonna leave all the names of the apps down below. I think the more you edit your photos, you have like a better idea of like the color and like how you want the look of your Instagram to be. And honestly, it's just about playing around with the colors, with the filters, um, with the different moods, and just being creative. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Yeah. I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so down, yeah Can you tell me why, can you tell me why I'm down